it was quite an interesting game. The Arizona Wildcats lose uh, tonight to the UCLA Bruins. Uh, the final score was uh, Arizona Wildcats 73, UCLA Bruins 84. Oh, uh, I think it was kind of funny because, you know, where the, you know, it was a whiteout for the Arizona Wildcats, and we were, we had the support of all, you know, of all the fans, because every, everybody was, was, uh, was decked out in white, um, so we had the fans backing us up, total, you know, uh, sold out crowd, and, uh, there was just, you know, there was so much confidence, Arizona had so much confidence whenever they went into this game, I really thought that they were gonna be able to pull it out, uh, even though they ended up being down by 16 points at one point in the first, in the first half, um, uh, I, I still thought, I still believed that <laughs> I still believe that the Wildcats are going to be able to come back and, and uh, you know, win this game. Um, but I guess whenever you dig yourself a hole that deep, um, 16 points down, then it's really, really, really difficult to come back. Um, and one of, the, one of the big things that was uh, hard on the Wildcats was the reason that they lost also was that uh, the three-pointers, uh, they just weren't falling for anybody. Um, uh, Lions took seven. He had seven. Uh, he took seven attempts at three-pointers, and he only made two of them. Um, Mick Johnson he took five attempts at three-pointers, and he only made one. Uh, Solomon Hill took four attempts at three-pointers, and. He only made one, and Kevin Parham had a heck of a time. He only he, he took three attempts at three pointers, and he didn't make any. Um, we were doing really, really good on the amount of turnovers. We didn't have a whole lot of turnovers. Um, we ended up with 14 overall turnovers, and they had 11 turnovers. But um, the and. That's pretty good, you know. Uh, usually we get 15 turnovers or more, uh, you know, whenever we play anybody. Um, but uh, and the uh, the offensive rebounds are, you know, important, very important to me. Um, and we had uh, Solomon Hill had four offensive rebounds. Uh, Kevin Parham had two offensive rebounds. Solomon Hill had 10 rebounds altogether, so he did really good uh, on rebounds. But um, their guys, um, their guys had uh, one of their guys had 12 rebounds, which was uh, Anderson. He had 12 rebounds, and then then uh, David Ware he had eight rebounds. So. Those were killers, uh, but we were going. To, uh, you know, I I heard that the Arizona Wildcats were going to be really really strong on the rebounding board on the rebounding uh, uh, angle, and they were going to be able to win the win the boards no problem. And they did. They they actually they they beat the beat the Bruins. Uh, 18 offensive rebounds to 11 offensive rebounds. The Bruins had 11 offensive rebounds. The, the Wildcats had 18 offensive rebounds. Um, but, you know, and we had... Another thing that was kind of important was uh, the free throw attempts. We had 16 free throw attempts. I really... I think that we should get at least 20 free throw attempts. Um, but... You know, we ended up with only 16 free throw attempts, and they had 29. Bruins had 29 free throw attempts, so they were they they were doing good as far as drawing fouls uh, on our guys. They were the Bruins were doing really good as far as dribble penetrating and and getting in there and uh, uh, drawing fouls. Um, 
And speaking of fouls, then we uh, the first time uh, I think uh, I think it was the first time that Nick Johnson ever fouled out of a game, uh, and uh, Mark Lyons uh, uh, fouled out. Uh, the next person that was getting close to fouling out was Brandon Ashley, but he didn't foul out. He had four fouls, so uh, that wasn't. Uh, too bad, but we had 21 personal fouls and they had 15 personal fouls. The only one that was close to maybe fouling out was Adams for the UCLA Bruins, but uh, he 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 had a really he would really uh, contributed a lot to this to this game. Uh, of course, uh, you know their highly touted player, the Bruins highly touted player, Shabazz. Muhammad, um, he ended up with 23 points, so he would, did really, really nicely. And uh, another that Adams, uh, he ended up with uh, he ended up with 15 points. Um, let's see, another another thing that was really, well, David Ware uh, did really good as far as the uh, rebounds. Um, Travis Ware had some kind of concussion uh, symptoms, so I hope that he's okay. You know, I hope they're where Travis Ware is uh, doing. I hope he gets okay. I hope he, you know, I hope he heals up pretty good. Um, but anyway, the in the beginning, the thing about it was is just the Arizona Wildcats just could not hit a shot for the life of them. Uh, right in the beginning, and um, the UCLA Bruins were not intimidated. What uh, by the were not intimidated the slightest amount by the fans or the uh, people that were rooting for the U U of A uh, Wildcats. And uh, you know there was so much anticipation, and so many people were fired up for the. Wildcats to win this game that uh, and UCLA said we don't care and they just uh, they ended up shooting really really nicely and they ended up with 43% uh, from field goal percentage but they were doing they were doing fantastic I I mean at halftime I think I saw it was like 55% from um, uh, field goal percentage with UCLA so you know even though they were going in for uh, these dribble penetration shots, just like the U of A was. Their dribble penetration shots were falling, and one of the one of the big the reasons is uh, Shabazz Muhammad. Uh, he can dribble penetrate, but he can also finish, and Lions can finish too. Um, of course, I, I have to say that because he. You know, he finished uh, really strongly against uh, Colorado and uh, San Diego State and um, and Florida. But uh, Shabazz Muhammad is um, pretty pretty highly touted, and he showed it tonight. He uh, made 8 out, 8 out of 16 field goal percentage, so he did really, really nicely. Um Let's see what else can I say? I just, you know, the the one of the big things was uh, that that I heard was the amount of assists, uh, and the reason why I heard from uh, from uh, Miller that we didn't have very many assists because because we we ended up with ten. The U of A Wildcats ended up with ten assists, and and the Bruins had eighteen assists, and. What I heard from Miller was uh, we were playing too much individual ball. We weren't uh, passing the we weren't passing the ball to other players and giving the other players and sharing the ball and uh, giving the other play giving other U of A players the other U of A Wildcats opportunities to score. Uh, we tried to do it all on our try everybody tried to do it individually on their own um, I, I just I really thought that uh, dribble penetration would be able to pull us through but 
Uh, and we had that in the beginning. We had really good drip penetration, but like I said, our shots weren't falling, and uh, the U of A and the, uh, the U of A shots weren't falling, and the Bruins um, they were able to finish it. They were able to finish the shots and and make it their shots. And uh, even though they didn't have a great free throw percentage, they only shot 58% from free throw land. Uh, they had 29 free throw attempts, and we had 16 free throw attempts. So, you know, it was just, uh, I, I guess it was just not sharing, not sharing the ball. And, uh, you know, um, the assist to turnover ratio is, was pretty bad. Um, we had seven assists and to 14 turnovers, and they had 18 assists to 11 turnovers. So it was a that was a huge difference. The Bruins had 18 assists and only 11 turnovers, and and we had seven assists or we had 10 assists and uh, 14 turnovers. So that was a big factor. Um, also, in the in the result of this game, uh, the U of A loses this game, 73 to the UCLA Bruins, 84.